Hello everyone, this is James Christian. This is the very first video we have for two mallet keyboard percussion that corresponds with the first issue of the Percussion Circle magazine, which you can find at rudimentaluniversity.com. Today I'm thrilled to announce that we have a special guest composer and artist, Mr. Todd Buchina. He's a very accomplished musician and teacher. He has taught from elementary school all the way up to college, and I love his solos and his compositions, and you should definitely check him out at ukenamusic.com. He's going to talk to us today about doubling on the keyboard. So without any further ado, Mr. Todd Ukenna. Hi, I'm Todd Ukenna. I lived in a two-story house with numerous rooms, but spent most of my time in four of them. The problem was they were at opposite ends. There were days I went from my computer in one room to the printer in the other many times. It wasn't too bad if I could stay in those two upstairs rooms or the two downstairs rooms where I kept my drums and percussion. It was a hassle when I had to change floors particularly when moving from downstairs to upstairs, and that became quite a workout. Playing the marimba with an upper and lower keyboard is like my two-story house. If you have two different notes to play on the same hand, it is easiest if they are both on the same height, like running on the upstairs, or downstairs. If you have two different notes on different heights, it is easier if you're running from upstairs to downstairs. It is challenging if you have to go from downstairs to upstairs. The following exercises that you'll see can help a player develop their doubling skills and techniques. Good luck and have fun playing.
Thanks so much for watching today. We appreciate you sharing and commenting and liking and subscribing. Please do all of that and spread the word and let others know about this. Join us next time for more wonderful excursions into percussion. Thanks. I will see you later. Bye.